In today's report, I'm going to talk about Tesla Model 3 and Model Y long-term reliability, lifespan, and challenges long-term. The data is scarce about long-term regarding the long-term reliability of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y electric vehicles. However, overall, Tesla vehicles are considered reliable cars and have consistently performed well in JD Power's reliability rating. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, welcome. And please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And share this long-term reliability Tesla report with your friends in social media, please. Tesla Model 3 and Model Y have redefined electric vehicles for the mainstream car market. Packed with cutting-edge technology, these cars offer a futuristic driving experience. However, for many potential car buyers, a crucial question lingers. How well will these new technologies hold up in the long run and how reliable they are in the long run? Finding concrete data on the long-term reliability of Tesla's innovative features can be sometimes challenging because data is scarce. Traditional car reliability ratings like JD Power and Consumer Reports often lag behind the rapid development cycle of Tesla's software-driven systems. These reports typically assess reliability within the first three years of ownership, making them less relevant for predicting long-term performance. Currently, the 2022 Tesla Model 3's Consumer Verified Reliability Score in JD Power is 79 which is slightly above average. Also note that Tesla scores have fluctuated within, actually with the Model 3 receiving an average rating from consumer reports. However, these reports primarily focus on traditional mechanical issues, which are less prevalent in electric vehicles. But Tesla has been fixing the reliability issues of its electric vehicles because, for example, in 2021, the Consumer Reports Reliability rating, rating for Tesla was second worst. But now, like I said, it's above average. A more nuanced perspective, nuanced perspective on Tesla reliability comes from real-world experiences. In 2023, Tesla Model 3 ownership survey by Bloomberg revealed that initial quality issues like paint, imperfections were addressed swiftly by Tesla, a major systems held up very well over time. Owners reported minimal problems beyond minor inconveniences. This aligns with, uh, with an article from Torque News which highlights how Tesla addresses software glitches and improves features through over-the-air updates, potentially improving reliability over time. I will have the link of these articles in the description of this video. But please, if you are a Tesla owner, also write your long-term experience with your Tesla in the comments section. Now let's talk about the key technologies and their long-term outlook. Let's delve into specific technologies technologies within the Model 3 and Model Y, analyzing their potential reliability in 5 to 10 years. Now, this may also apply to Model S and Cybertruck as it comes up of Model Y. Now, one of them is electric drivetrain. Electric motors are generally considered simpler and more reliable than combustion engines. With fewer moving parts, they experience less wear and tear. Tesla's battery technology is constantly evolving, but improvements tend to focus on range and efficiency rather than core reliability over the long term. Battery degradation is a natural process, but advancements in battery management systems and terminal control, actually thermal control, as detailed in a research paper by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, should mitigate this over the next decade. So the better car companies do the thermal control, the longer the batteries will be. Autopilot and full self driving, which is FSD, is another technology. These driver assistant features are Tesla's most controversial offerings right now. Currently, they are classified as level two systems requiring driver supervision. Their long term reliability hinges on software development and regulatory approval for higher levels of autonomy. While advancements are likely, as reported by experts at the Society of Automotive Engineers, 
Achieving true self-driving functionality remains a complex challenge that may take longer than 5 to 10 years. The key to reliable full self-driving lies in robust sensor technology, advanced artificial intelligence, and clear regulatory framework. As you see, things are becoming more interesting. Now, next technology that we're going to talk about the uh, Tesla's long-term reliability is large touchscreen interface. Replacing physical buttons with a central touchscreen is a bold move. While convenient, these screens are susceptible to scratches, malfunctions, and software bugs. Their long-term reliability depends on the quality of the hardware and the stability of Tesla's software updates. User experience reports on forums like the Tesla Motor Club suggest that screen issues can occur, but the frequency of these problems remains unclear. For example, if you are a Tesla owner or another vehicle owner, have you had any screen issues like scratches or anything with your vehicle? Let me know, friends, in the comment section below. Now, let's talk uh, let's take a look at Tesla's reliability data scarcity versus the advantage of software updates. The challenge of assessing long-term reliability lies in the limited data available for Tesla's rapidly evolving technologies. Unlike traditional cars with established platforms, Tesla's vehicles are constantly updating, especially over the air updates. This presents both a risk and an opportunity. On the one hand, frequent software updates can introduce new bugs or glitches, potentially impacting the technology's reliability in your Tesla car. However, Tesla's ability to address issues and improve features through over-the-air updates offers a significant advantage. Unlike traditional cars requiring physical fixes, Tesla can potentially rectify problems and enhance functionality remotely, potentially improving reliability over time. Now I'm going to talk about the importance of your Tesla maintenance and data collection. This is very important if you want to have a longer lifespan for your vehicle, longer lifespan for your Tesla and reliable vehicle. This data-driven approach could significantly improve long-term reliability of your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Tesla has begun offering extended warranties for its battery and drivetrain, suggesting confidence in their longevity. However, independent repair shops may struggle to keep pace with Tesla's evolving technology, potentially impacting repair options in the future. There is an important role that these independent repair shops play. Traditionally, a network of independent repair shops has offered uh, car buyers choice and potentially lower repair costs. However, Tesla's reliance on software and its control over diagnostic tools may limit independent repair, repair options in the coming years for Tesla vehicles unless something changes. This could be a significant factor for some potential buyers to consider, especially as these vehicles age. Tesla's innovative technologies offer a glimpse into the future of automobiles. However, their long-term reliability remains a question mark. The next five to 10 years will be crucial in determining how well these cutting edge features hold up. Tesla must strike a balance between pushing technological boundaries and ensuring the robustness of its technological systems, friends. For potential Tesla buyers, a wait-and-see approach might be prudent. Early adopters may encounter unforeseen issues. This is true with any vehicles when they have first-year uh, technologies. However, those willing to embrace the cutting-edge can benefit from Tesla's continuous improvement through software updates. By closely monitoring real-world experiences, maintenance data, and the development of the independent repair landscape in the coming years, will gain a clear picture of the long-term reliability of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. This will empower car buyers to make informed decisions about whether these vehicles are the right fit for their needs and preferences. Now, let me know your thoughts, friends. What is the lifespan of your 
Tesla Model 3 that you're driving or what is the lifespan of your Tesla Model Y that you're driving? I would like to hear from you in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan, friends from torquenews.com. God bless you, everyone. Let's continue the discussion in the coming section, uh, in the comment section below. And if you like this report, you found it helpful, please share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it and give us thumbs up. Have a great day. God bless you. See you soon in our next report.